So Blue Moon versus just kind of here here. So uh, how, what do you think about this matchup? Uh, it depends. Uh, d if Victor goes after his basics quickly enough, versus whether or not Hunter goes for a turn three Blood Moon, it could just be a quick lockout. Mm -hmm. Definitely. That's the trouble with these three color decks. Like they're so weak to like Blood Moon, and as we saw on Sunday, uh, the New Thalia just mm -hmm. keeping all their lands come down. Yeah, it's pretty painful. Not having the mana you need when you uh, need it. Yeah. I was definitely impressed with Thalia when I played in the Evolution deck. Uh, I will probably be playing it main deck. Hmm. Typically not. That one game where, like, I definitely... I tried to play Is there any cards that you think would, like, blow out the... Uh, other than Blood Moon would, like, make a big difference here? Honestly, no. Like, essentially, Blue Moon is an even slower build of Jeskai, especially since uh, Jeskai got Nahiri. They actually have a clock now, mm -hmm. so uh, Blue Moon's usual win condition is what? Batter Skull or like V Click? P and or, yeah, I guess they have started playing P Kia, but honestly, most of the time, like they still end up having to beat down with V Click and a. Uh, Whatever they take with Videlkin Shackles. Mm -hmm. Like, Blue Moon is just not a fast deck. They don't have a clock. Yeah. They try and control the game until your opponent's locked out, and then go from there. Yeah, uh, Victor's Hand, it also is a good to point out that, like, uh, it's probably harder for them to get their, like, Mountain Plains basics to cast Nahiri than, like, their islands. They probably play multiple islands. Usually the decks play with something like three islands, one plains, one mountain. Mm -hmm. So... You don't really need the mountain basic. It's just like mainly the yeah. plains basic, yes. It's harder to get. Especially depending on which fetches you're playing. Like, if you're playing the full four Scalding Tarns and, like, only two uh, Flooded Strands, it's very unlikely to hit the plains early. Mm hmm We can see in Victor's hand here, he has a, he's, like, multiple non-basic uh, blue and red sources and uh, no plains, but he, uh, he also has the basic uh, island here, which is pretty good. Yeah. And he has the option to search out another one with this uh, Scalding Tarn. Yeah, so he has options to stay, uh, for, to keep himself from getting locked out of the game. And the fact that Nahiri, if it ever does hit the board, can exile a bl Blood Moon is very mm -hmm. relevant. Definitely. In uh, worst case scenario, they also have Cryptic Command to bounce Blood Moon. Mm -hmm. yeah. You need, do require three islands for that. Hunter's hand here is filled with a bunch of like removal spells and answers. Looks like he's going to try to cast a uh, Snapcaster targeting a Serum Visions. Just trying to gain some uh, velocity on his deck here. Mm -hmm. Looks, Looks like, like his hand didn't really have anything going on. So mm -hmm. Looks like Victor just lets it resolve. Cracks a fetch. Yeah. As he well should. <coughs> Honestly, letting uh, Hunter draw an extra card, look at a couple extra cards, it's not really going to... Nahiri in hand, which is what he's likely to try to play this turn. I think he was just trying to draw out a counterspell there. I don't think he will actually play Nahiri. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's just going to wait till he has six mana so he can fight over it. Yeah. Whoa, Hunter. <laughs> That's a pretty uh double upkeep. Mm -hmm. We got an Aeon Hub in play here. Mm hmm. Uh, I was watching Victor play some games earlier and he does play like at least I think two uh Vendillion clicks in his main deck. I definitely approve. I would always play at least one V-Click. Mm -hmm. It's just another way other than Nahiri to put uh, Emrakul back in your deck. So mm -hmm. uh, It does look good against Hunter's Hand here, which is a like, triple like removal spell for creatures and then like only one counter spell, which I think is a remand. So he's probably obviously just going to take that. Well, in response to the ability, I'm pretty sure he's going to Electrolyze here. Mm -hmm, definitely, but still would not be able to uh, maybe keep up the counter spell he wants here. Absolutely. It is a good way to try and resolve the Nahiri better. Mm, I did see a Victor uh, put a Dispel down onto like what the bottom of his deck <coughs> with uh, the Seer Visions. And I think he shuffled after that, so that might still be live. Okay, double bolt here. <coughs> Remand, Flame Slash, and uh, Snapcaster. Yep, double bolt's a good way to get a, rid of a Nahiri that didn't resolve. Yeah, but he only has one red source currently, so mm. I would still just take that, Remand here. That is a problem. Especially since it looks like he, he has a mana leak in hand as well. Yeah. Well, it takes a snap instead, okay. Uh, Snapcaster here seems a little mm, awkward. 
Do you think of any reasoning why he would take that over, the, like, the the possible counter spell? Just more inherently powerful card. Mm -hmm. I know I would have personally taken the uh, counter spell just to try and resolve the uh, Nihiri. Just try and uh, get a little further ahead in the game. So here is Hunter. Do you just try to slam up Blood Moon, or do you want to like also keep up more mana, trying to make sure your threat or uh, hindrance resolves? It depends on what the last card in his hand is. It looks like it's a blue card. I just can't tell what it is. Mm -hmm. It looks like possibly another remand, but I, I like Ben said, I, I, we don't get a good look at this. It's just says go instead. Seems fine. He has a very controlling hand. Uh, Victor's missed multiple land drops at this point. Mm -hmm. So, draws a sulfur fall is getting a second red source. Yeah. At so this point, I might have actually went ahead for the blood moon, but he might be waiting for a seventh land to keep up double counterspell. Double remand, and then next turn he also his ancestral visions does resolve. And then as a hunter here, you do want him to see start like trying to cast these. Uh, uh, see your mission effects tapping them out, tapping them out a little bit. Absolutely. So instead of having like double snap, double uh, mana leak or double remand or a mix or a cryptic command, he only has three mana up now. And Victor goes to trying to remand it. I think it's going to get remanded back here. Mm -hmm. And then we'll see whether Victor has like a dispel or maybe a spell pierce here. Both wouldn't be good, but uh, if. If you're if this uh, remand resolves starting the remand, do you uh, try to slam the blood moon? Yes. Then? Just yes. Just I would snap. See, he does have the dispel, which I was talking about earlier. Which I think you just uh, do you remand this again? Because then you can hit your you can hit your land drop and then slam a blood moon because you're drawing four cards. Yeah, I I think I would actually remand again if I had it. Yeah, build the stack here. <laughs> mm -hmm. So dispel resolves, and then remand is going to dispel. This resolves first, so this you go back to your hand. I draw a card, and then the other one gets countered. You remain. No, no, remanding your remand. Okay, so this one just go away. Okay. No, it counters the other remand. Hunter explaining how this stack is going to work. So remand goes back to your hand. I think you're no. your this remand. Okay. <laughs> Plays oh, yeah. as triple remand can be kind of annoying. Okay. He's like, things may change yeah. after this draw. Big win from Hunter here. Joe's draw the, right, one of the lands he needs. Okay, he's trying to slam this Blood Moon. He draws plenty of lands. I think he goes ahead and plays as a fetch land though. Do you eh, think, he, do you really think he wants one more island? I, think, I feel like he he like he has an island in hand, and he can get it's an foreign. island off this. Yeah. So well, then with he has six islands total, I think you're fine. Plus two red sources, plus another mountain in hand. Mm -hmm. Mountain in quotation marks. Being the Mystery Rainforest. Yeah. And then Victor should be locked out from here. Yeah, he could just top deck the planes here, and then like just like destroy Hunter's turn. Being in that with the uh, like Nahiri. the chances of him hitting exactly planes here is low, and we know it's a scolding turn because he left it on top. Yeah, he left a mountain on top. Yep, he left mountain on top. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Hunter's got solid control of this game. Mm, spreading seas here yeah, could so prove a an effect. Well, he's not going to need to cast anytime soon. But but like say Victor uh, plays uh, a pl the, the planes and then. Ooh, is here. that Goblin Dark Dwellers? It looks to be. Looks Can we say active. value? <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be, it looks like he shipped both cards to the bottom, though, correct? Yeah. He's having three. Puts the, I wonder if he's putting the second Blood Moon on the field. Just lock it down even harder? Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't play the Dark Dwellers just to try and uh, get a threat on the board. Mm hmm. Maybe he's afraid of the counter spell. Uh, well, he drew up the first serum vision, so that would leave him with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he he couldn't resolve it through a mana leak there. Gotcha. D draws a uh, stomping grounds. Pretty interesting. Maybe it's like a uh, ancient, ancient grudge, grudge in the, yeah. in the sideboard. I know uh, a lot of the old blue moon decks were actually playing Tarmogoyz for a little bit, but I don't think uh, he is. I think it's just a splash. Mm -hmm. Draws a grim lava mancer. That's another interesting card. Uh, another way to win the game. Mm -hmm, definitely.
So His Vigor's probably pretty high here. Yeah. Still doesn't, still's not casting any of these removal any of these creatures here. Yeah, I'm a little surprised at this point. Like, I'm figured he would uh, try and resolve something at this point. Yeah. Maybe he's just trying to draw in more counter magic to try and win whatever counter war they get into. <laughs> whatever non-existent counter war. <laughs> Draws a stamp caster. Yeah. yeah. At this point, I think you have to cast something, though. Yeah. Just giving more Victor more chances to draw some cards or see maybe possibly the planes. Victor's uh, land base so far is seeming that he might uh, be a little bit easier to get the planes with both an Arid Mesa and a Flood Strand, so for game two. Tapping three mountains for Dark Dwellers. Let's draw some cards, he says. Yeah, Ancestral Vision's pretty silly here. Yeah. Being Recall. able to flash that back. Draws the Batter, Batter Skull, skull. Yeah. Snapcaster, and a Serum Visions. Whew, that's some gassy hand there. Mm -hmm. Plays uh, Love Mancer at this point? Can't put these back in my hand. Yeah. Yep, Love Mancer it is. And it does look like he may have to discard some here. Hmm. Definitely not a problem here when you have a billion cards in hand and they're all... One's a spreading seas. You don't yeah. really need a spreading seas at this point. Yeah. I, I feel like you, you might need that more than a flame slash per se, though. Yeah, in case he does draw the one planes. Mm-hmm. Because like, now even if he draws the planes, he can only play Nahiri and then... Oh, brutal. Brutal. I think, I think the game was like... Shit. When I had visions and we weren't doing anything, that was when it kind of got awkward. Well, yeah, I <laughs> yeah, Victor uh, definitely should have cast them here after casting the uh, V click. Mm. He had cleared the way, and the fact that he didn't, I think, was uh, probably not correct. Mm -hmm. Definitely agree. Like, even if Hunter had the chance to draw into another counter spell, I think he was tapped down to one land. Yeah. So. So, uh, I was watching Victor play a game against uh, Jund before this. And uh, he, his like his opponent has like two cards in hand, which he knows is terminate, terminate, because he even didn't click them. And then he like his he resolves his visions, ancestral visions, draws like snapcaster, snapcaster, Nahiri, and draws path, and he has like five lands. And he's looking at his lands, and he's just like, go. Even though he, he even though he knows his opponent has just double terminate, and then like his he has a ravine, but he has a ghost quarter, and he has five lands, so he could just like. And then like and Billy, the Billy, yeah, Billy's right next to him. Like you should have just like, why are you making your opponent suffer? It was pretty. I, I think he's humorous. very much um, the draw go type control player, and he's not used to tapping out for Planeswalker on four. Mm -hmm. Like uh, you definitely got used to that if you ever played Callblade uh, during that era. It's just like, oh, it's four mana here. Uh, we're slamming Jace because you win the game by doing that. Mm -hmm. And here he's the same principle here. Once you know the way is clear, like he clearly did in both these situations, you need to slam it. Yeah, it's even clear here when you can just ultimate, tw like not ultimate, but uh, plus two twice and you're already at, like arranged to get an Emiracle and just swing in, which is pretty silly, just like... Yeah, that's how you win this particular matchup. Uh, the fact that he's, n like, he had the chance to be aggressive and he just passed it up, that, I feel, is the reason why Victor lost this game. Mm -hmm. But uh, in Hunter's hand, he did draw, like, the, I believe the Sulphur Falls either that turn or the next turn. The following turn. The so, following turn. But by then, it would have hit eight, so the double bolt wouldn't have taken it out. Mm -hmm. So he would have been able to plus it back. Didn't he have a Snapcaster, though, or did he, he cast did, that? He did, but, again, it would be up to four by the time he could Snapcaster bolt. And by the time Snap... No, I mean on the field. Uh, I think he dealt with that before he cast V-Click. Mm. Yeah, because he uh, Lightning Helixed it. Mm, okay. So... Uh, <laughs> I think the way was definitely clear there. Like, there, sure, there are a couple of draws there. Any mountain, any red source uh, could have dealt with in Harry. But if you're not going to take the chance, then I don't feel like you deserve winning. Mm -hmm. I, feel, I feel like we're all disappointed, AK Cracker. Yeah, he's uh, disappointed that the real deal is not in the room. Uh, I, I don't feel like we're losing much without the deal being here. Mm. Oh no, uh, this is actually somewhat interesting. I don't feel like we've had an interactive matchup quite like this. Yeah, I feel like uh, Hunter did choose a good deck for this meta here for all the three color choices being like Jion, Grixis, and Nahiri. Yeah, absolutely. I definitely feel like Blue Moon is solid against all of those. 
Mm -hmm. uh, probably the weakest matchup would be the Jun matchup, but then again, it's, what, 50-50 against everything? Mm -hmm. Other than Tron. Yeah. So. Uh, so what do you think is coming in for the sideboards here? More dispel effects. Just... I want to see Counterflux, but I don't think anybody plays it. Mm -hmm. uh, you think, like, a Karenus could come in here from either player? Absolutely. Like, anything that's hard to deal with or allows them to win a counter war is probably the first thing on both their minds. Uh, the removal obviously being taken out. Mm -hmm. Like... Yeah. Batterskull, uh, Karenos, anything like that are going to be their first choices on being brought in. Yep. And then... Like cards like Flame Slash from Hunter or like uh, Path to Exile maybe or like what, what like what cards would you like first sideboard uh, out in Helix. Lightning Helix just yeah and Lightning Bolt from Victor probably mm -hmm. keeping Keep the paths for the uh, they, they Dark Dwellers they hit everything the really. the Dank Dwellers yeah <laughs> AK Cracker says give him a job and have the real deal in twenty four seven I want to see the real deal I feel like we all do Ben just can't admit it to uh, other people I'm sorry but uh. His uh, his vibe does not mesh with mine. <laughs> Jake says we can't afford him. His deal is too real. <laughs> I'll pay his way. <laughs> well, if you're willing to donate, I'm sure we could get him uh, doing something here. Oh yeah, we can have like a like <laughs> back to the sidelines with the real deal. <laughs> hey, deck tech with the real deal here. Mm-hmm. Him doing a him doing a deck tech would be pretty uh, pretty, that, pretty I might actually be interested in seeing that. <laughs> you hear that? Donations and we'll get the real deal doing deck techs. Yeah. Remember uh last week when I told you that uh he he said that he hated playing against Jund as Boggles because they had Tarmogoyf. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's yeah. like, That card's silly. <laughs> it's two <laughs> mana. Uh, uh, I wish I wish I could say the real deal was was a good friend of mine. Mm. I'm sure An we honorable person. I'm sure we could track him down for some deck techs. I'll pay his way. How much? Let's work this out. <laughs> yeah. Hey, like I said, <laughs> uh, you donate, we'll find him. We'll make him do deck techs. Oh yeah. We have to give him like a crazy deck too, like 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 the new dredge deck. I'll be like, what does this card do? What does any of this do? Mm -hmm. uh, his commentary on that would probably be hilarious. So, uh, are both players keeping seven here? I was too uh, enamored like by the real deal. Yep, they're both on seven here. Uh, quick fetch here. I think Victor is going to try and get the planes out as fast as humanly possible this game. Mm -hmm. I think he uh, learned his lesson after the last one. Some of our wonderful EDH players from the um, back room in the background there. Yep, having themselves a good old time. So do you keep the Ghost Quarter here just because it, it, in, in the end it might be a way for you to, in case the Blood Windows come down, to get the planes? Uh, it's definitely tempting, but I don't think so, especially if he has any white fetch in hand. Mm, definitely you don't want to do that. It's definitely like a last resort. Yeah, absolutely, but it is an option. So rusty. <laughs> Looks like Victor is going with the classic two graveyards. Mm. The, oh, I don't know what's in my yard, but I like to keep my spells separated. <laughs> yeah. The, oh, judge in the legacy and vintage tournaments. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I have to say, I'm actually looking forward to playing some Luren now that it's actually affordable to play. Mm. Speaking of good format. <laughs> So do you think it's like the new learn deck will not the new learn deck, but the uh, deck will be a lot more playable with like uh, multiple tutors? Um, I don't know. Like the fact is, you never really needed more than the four uh, imperial recruiters, but it does change slightly because it is toughness. So you lose things like Dreamstalker, but oh, you yeah, pick other things three. up. Yeah, like you can just play uh, Mana War and bounce your own thing. Mm, so it yeah. works. But you could get Man of War before, couldn't you? You could, uh, but Dreamstalker was just better. Mm hmm because it, it, it like, just, like... Is, is, I think is, it bounces two things, but... Or is, is it, like, an effect ability? Yeah, I'm not quite sure. I'd have to look it up. Get through the early turns here so we can get some actual commentating on this match. <laughs> the land go. 
Yeah, the the exciting portion of this matchup, the land, go, cast my uh, one-man draw spells. Mm -hmm. Or just, just waiting for them blood moons to be slammed. Uh, Hunter draws a dispel, which is pretty good against uh, fighting the counter wars. It has double bold in hand, which <laughs> really isn't. It's a good way to answer a Nahiri, though. Yeah, uh, Hunter definitely could not take out the lightning bolts. He definitely needed them. So. To have some way to interact handle with the creatures, handle or, or, or Nahiri, handle or resolve the Nahiri. Like, I guess Victor, you did, you did see even dealing clicks from him game one. Yeah. Plus, Snapcaster Mages, like you don't have a plethora of creatures to block with, so. Yep. Uh, Victor does have the flooded strain on the battlefield to be able to get that basic planes he needs. Yeah. He also has a, a Celestial Purge in hand, which can also get rid of a Blood Moon. Yeah. Hunter's definitely not slamming Blood Moon here, unless he just has no other play. Uh, Destus18 says, what are your thoughts on Pod with the new recruiter in Legacy? Uh, still lackluster. It's too slow. Uh, the fact that Lurin can just combo off the second it plays its namesake card versus Birthing Pod, which costs essentially the same amount of mana, it just, it's no contest there. Like, there's better things to be doing with your mana. Mm -hmm. I feel like uh, uh, the, the pod decks that are around are, are pretty cool because like, they run like Nick Fit effects or like they're basically like it's a, a Nick Fit deck. Yeah, with uh, Veteran Explorer, maybe like Cabal Therapies or like whatever. Cause, yeah, like, I've seen those decks around. Deck, but you have such a horrible combo matchup, like you don't see them very often. Mm -hmm. And the fact is, some of the blue decks can just they have the brainstorm effects to do literally outdraw you. Yeah. So. Sure, you have a bunch of tutors in your deck, but they have Brainstorm. Their consistency is probably going to be equal to, if not better than yours. Mm -hmm. Looks like Hunter's doing his uh, Snap uh, Serum Visions again. Yeah, man. He, has to, he wants to find, a, if anything... Another land, it looks like. Another red source. And a, if that, be that a land, because so he can keep up a double bolt if Fana here he does resolve. Yeah. Looks like both of them did keep Lightning Bolt in for this matchup. I know uh, Helix probably came out for Victor. Mm. Those are decently classy bolts. Uh, it looks like... It looks like they're beta. Yeah, I'm trying to... Eh, I don't know, the corners are pretty rounded. They might be alpha? Uh, probably not, though. Yeah. <laughs> Not Alpha, rounded enough. Uh, Alpha, Alpha's are, what are they at, like, I imagine they're pretty expensive. Uh, Betas think, are pretty expensive. Yeah, they're like 50 a piece or something like that, or? I think they're higher than that now. Uh, v Jake says that Victor does have a uh, Lightning Helix in hand. That's quite strange. I wonder what he boarded up then. Mm-hmm. Discarding the Blood Moon. Definitely I believe he has another one in hand, and like a fa a facing against uh, two fetch lanes that haven't been cracked, that get the colors like he mainly needs is yeah. to resolve the Nahiri. Looks like Victor just drew a bunch of lands there. <laughs> Looks like he has the Emerald in hand. Yep, he does at the very uh, tip. Well, he should have plenty of options here. Just a matter of what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. Did you see more land drops in his hand? Because I feel like that's what he drew like three. Oh, did he? Yeah. Um, I want to see like one or I might see no, like one or two. There's, see there's like a bunch of them. I assure you. Some blue there's three of them on the end. Oh, are they all. Are those all at the end? One yeah. Jeez. So you see, there's a purge. Those look like to be negates. I think they're like written on. Probably says like board in against control. <laughs> so that he remembers. Looks like there's a ghost quarter at the bottom, too. Yeah, he has plenty of land drops. Uh, at this point, he's probably going to discard the Emrakul, though. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's going for the pass. Interesting. And keeping Bolt? I'm not sure if I agree with that. Hunter Drew's drawing another land off the top. Back to Victor. Some more Serum Vision action here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like that's not like the main card you think about countering there, Hunter. No. I feel like maybe he has like I don't, I don't really see Hunter's hand too much, but I don't I don't know I don't think there's many remains, but maybe he's just trying to find a spell to like remand. Trying to uh, draw a couple more cards. Yeah. yeah. Victor here, four un unfetched fetch lands, just just waiting. Imagine if like, there's like a, a like a split second blood moon effect. <laughs> That would be a little, little ridiculous. Yeah, but like, what if it was just, just for a turn, just like Blood Moon them, and then like you play your actual Blood Moon and you just get them. 
God. That seems that, that's a little much. Oh, can you imagine, Bill? I think they were actually discussing the exact same thing. Mm, I think they were. So, oh yeah. Okay. How how big of a play would you enjoy it if Hunter goes pissing needle, and Victor's like sure, and then hits flooded strand? Oh God, like, I would love oh, that so God. much. That'd be a, that'd be a play. I would definitely approve of that play. I I have definitely uh, definitely seen people do that. I've almost had it happen to me. So. <laughs> uh, it looks like Victor did miss like this land drop right here. Do something crazy. <laughs> something crazy, you say. Bolt you. Bolt you. We we now have a game plan here. It's the lightning bolt bolt plan. We're just going to bolt you four times and then snap cast yeah. them back. It looks like Hunter didn't want to discard there, so he's like, might as well bolt you him. Yeah. Like, there's no reason not to do it. Like, you have enough mana where you can afford to. Mm -hmm. How many times can I fetch here? <laughs> It would be hilarious if, in response... Like, Shadow of Doubt? Yeah, or like, exactly. It's like, crack all my fetches, like, throws them in the yard, and you're like, Shadow of Doubt? Just getcha? Getcha, yeah. You Double put them blue. all on the stack at the same time. It was pretty clear. <laughs> Interesting, so, like, if a Pithy Needle did resolve here... And then he didn't crack his, didn't crack his uh, ghost quarter, uh, didn't crack his flooded train or his ghost quarter. He could name flooded train, and then he cracked the air mesa, which would be another way to get the planes. So, that'd be some tech. Gotta gotta love some draw go magic. Yeah. Fetch fetch lands abound. No brainstorms to shuffle though. Mm. We need some Jace in this format. That's what we need. Anything that could brainstorm would... Question. Do you think a two mana, blue one, instant, draw two, put one back, would be fine for the format? I feel like that's pretty weak. Yeah, it's pretty weak, but it would be great for modern. Mm. They're playing things like Serum Visions? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel like it could see a decent amount of play. I don't know. Like, I'd have to play with it a little bit and see if, like... It probably doesn't have anywhere near the power of Brainstorm, but it'd still Duh. be pretty great, yeah. Because, like, <laughs> you're, like, messing with two card two abilities with that card. You're going to fight over a Helix. <laughs> that is how far this game has devolved. Are we going to fight over a Helix? Yeah. Is that a thing in life? Hmm? Is that a thing in life? No, it's a spell staring at Reman to the very top. Okay. And it looks like it to be a dispel and another remand at the bottom. I was hoping for something a little more exciting. I was hoping. Switch life totals. Ooh. The Bukake uh, Serum Visions. Whoa, this is, this is a PT. Is that, is that a Shadow of Doubt? That is a Shadow, shadow of, of Doubt. doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. It's also a Piakia. Yeah, Piakia is a little more interesting. Than, I don't know. I feel like the Shadow that's really interesting. Yeah. But like, oof. Let's see if we can let's see if we can catch Victor here. <laughs> see if he'll uh, do us a favor and crack a couple of fetches here all at once. Yeah, he's just like crack. But oh no! He, so you go. Uh, he goes to Blood Moon. He's like crack, crack, and you're like Shadow, shadow. of Doubt. Ah. <laughs> that would be ooh, the most insane play. Targeting Helix. No, just says no. Are we finally going to do something Victor's here? We've like, got some action. Victor's like, let's, let's look at my oh, seven cards. God. Victor gets my gets my hopes up and then dashes them. Mm -hmm. See, my friend when he played Blue Moon, he'd play like the Vindok Vindok and Shackles like version, or, or like one with like he had at least like two copies of those. And he got to a, a game where he had like P and Kia, and he's just like, hmm, he's like ten lands or something like that. And he goes, uh. Throw a token, throw a token, throw a Vindic of a duck and shackles at you, deal like six. It's pretty silly. Game one was the story of Ancestral Vision. Yeah. I love that card though. This one. So do you think we're gonna get a one oh oh 
Mass result heal? It'd be interesting, not but yet not impossible. I don't even I wouldn't call that interesting by any fe any stretch of the imagination here. We got our basic mountain. Keeps them both. I think Hunter's just wanting to draw this uh, shadow of doubt and see if, see where that leads him. I'm pretty sure Blood Moon Shadow of Doubt would be the like. That's what you want to happen. Yeah. <laughs> draw Shadow of Doubt. <laughs> Ooh, we'll show you crazy. Just just waiting. Nah, uh, it's Piakia. He left on top, followed by Shadow. Mm. Uh, it might be worth just slamming it here. Like, you gotta eventually make a move, but usually whoever makes the first move loses these. So. Yeah, Victor did draw a Nahiri, and I'm curious whether when he'll be <laughs> tempted to slam that. Because that taps a decent amount of your mana down. Same thing with the PAK being the same mana cost. But it does look like Victor has more uh, negates, while like Hunter has like a dispel. So like negate, uh, dispel always beats negate. So that's like always a thing. Well, Hunter also has a dispel. Does he? No, no, no I mean Hunter has a dispel, oh. and Victor has the negate. Oh, okay. I don't think Hunter has a negate. He's like a remands and a dispel. So do you think it is time for Snapcaster spell snare? Uh, yeah. I feel like uh, cause it, it makes him have to use a removal spell. And it's only three mana, so it's not like the biggest loss. And then we see Victor spell snare here, which is pretty poor against these remands. We, we, I mean, pretty good against these remands. These remands are pretty poor against the spell snare. He's targeting his own Snapcaster Mage with remand. Uh, yeah, I feel like it's a much better play yeah, than agreed. remanding the spell snare. Definitely agree. Cause you, you both draw the card off the spell snare, and uh, off the remand, and then you can recast your. He also gets the shadow of doubt. Yeah. Oof. <coughs> Does shadow of doubt read players can't shuffle? Um, or I believe it's player. player uh, target player can't look through his library. Mm -hmm. Can't search their library. Library, but yeah. Snapcaster again? Yeah, I feel like that's the play here. Still has Dispel, even with the uh, yeah, players. Sure. Okay. Your ignorance is my bliss. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty good flavor text. Definitely solid. Players From pl Sadak. See, it is both players. Players can't search yeah, yeah. their library. That's what I said. Oh, I thought you said... I thought no, you no, no. Target. I, I corrected myself. Oh, okay. Looks like we were going to try to flashback this spell snare here targeting the uh, Snapcaster. Yeah. This would be a good place to use a, 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 a remand from Victor's side. Because re remanding the flashback spell snare would just put it back in the exile. Yeah, it would force Hunter to dispel. Mm hmm. But then Victor could negate if he, if he does have the remand. I don't know if he has one or not. Victor thinking up a storm here. Decides to try to remand the spell snare, which he does have. Nah, he might be negating. Well, the remand's oh, flipped it? up. It's okay, a I can't see. Since somebody made the screen small here. Mm. Heart. So, will Hunter go ahead and dispel here just to get negated? Yeah, it kinda, it's kind of a a poor way because you did also make Victor's, uh, 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 what's it called? Lightning looks a lot better because you gave it a target, or a, a pretty decent target. Uh, actually, it looks like he remanded his Snapcaster. So, mm. I think he was just copying Hunter at that point. Yeah, I don't know if that was the correct play, but it was, I, it, it was, the, it was the copycat play. Yeah, it, I don't think it was correct. I don't think it was correct at all. Because, like, he, he only has, like, two more, two, like, two, or two mana, right? He only, like, uh, He had did. one mana. He had one mana? Yeah. 
Mm, I said you too. But so he's one or two mana. So like you, you pretty much win that kind of because well you have four. Yeah. And you know you have it. Like he, if he uses that one or two more mana, you just negate it. Yeah, I definitely disagree with Victor's play there. He definitely could have uh, remanded the spell snare mm -hmm. and easily won that. So it looks like uh, Hunter's trying to try for a Pia Kia this turn. I definitely agree with this. So, so Victor's probably, Victor's gonna go like crack, crack here, and Hunter's gonna be like, "Are they both on the stack?" He's gonna ask them, just like specifically. We keep hoping this will happen, but so far Victor has been very good about cracking one at a time. Well, well yeah. <laughs> this is your fault. I mean, join player to Jake right now. <laughs> it is true. He I did choose this matchup. Is Jess guy not worried about time? Another no, comment here. Uh, he ought to be, but I don't think he is. Mm -hmm. Hunter is only at 11 here. Yeah, but he won game one, so that's all that really matters. <laughs> True. So. Uh, Is very s yeah, this yeah, board state is, is, is it's a way to put accurate. it. Yeah, it's because like his graveyards are cleaved in two. The, the exiles are just like chilling Kinda, above yeah. a, like his lands are go goes from the top of the screen to his deck where his deck is I will also admit is pretty awkwardly placed and just kind of like slap hazard thrown. Yeah, see if I if I was across the opponent who had like his deck like, right next to him, I'd I'd always be just staring at that because that's like. It's definitely not cheaty per se, but it's kind of it's like weird. This is the exact same way that uh, Alex Berta cheaty used to throw his cards everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like he was real bad about that as well. Hunter Hersk Fugit Berta cheaty <laughs> reincarnated. <laughs> 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 no, Hunter's a good guy. Yeah, uh, Hunter Hunter's pretty cool. <laughs> Just you had like a pa like a pause, like a break in your voice there. So I was like, wait a minute, is he he's gonna say no? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No. I was like, whoa. No, Hunter's fine. Just Hunter's he, fine. He's, he's a little sloppy. I don't think anybody can deny that. <laughs> Looking at this board state. So, ooh. He's going for the Blood Moon Shadow Doubt? Please, <sighs> please. please. What if sh okay, please if Shadow Doubt, how, 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 do, how but much better would Shadow Doubt be if it had split second? Um, It would be insane and should cost like five mana at that point. <laughs> it's a time stop, you're saying? Yes. Yes, it is. Ooh. Oh, interesting. Fires back. I feel like this just eats a remand. It might eat a cryptic command. I think Hunter's thinking the same thing here. Mm, if you play cryptic command, you can only keep up two extra mana. See, looks like he's bending two islands. Well, he hard. was originally picking up the four, that's why I said mm -hmm. that. Can confirm Hunter's a sloppy player. <laughs> I blame the American diet of uh, Sloppy Joe's as children. Mm. Just causes them to be sloppy everywhere. It's like, how many remands have you played this game? <laughs> Just a couple. Just three or four. This this if this would be the third or fourth. I know there's at least two in the graveyard. Yeah. Both of these arts are okay. I would accept both of them, being the original one and then the promo one. I would not accept the uh, dual deck one. Yeah, the dual deck one's okay. <laughs> and he just goes for it. He's just like, one's enough for me. And he's letting it resolve. Just, just he's letting it resolve. Oh. Did, did he let it resolve. Really? So he's only letting He didn't it fetch the other one. Does he know what that card does? Apparently not. <laughs> Watch him reach for the please, other one. Please let him reach for the other one. Please let him reach for the other one. What? Um, I, maybe he has like some like deep understanding of what's going to happen here that we don't know. Clearly. He, he could ghost quarter him, and that'd be a pretty good, that'd be a, like a strip mine effect. Yeah, but that doesn't compare yeah. to <laughs> just shutting you out of white. Yeah, yeah. I think Hunter has just strictly outplayed Victor this entire match. Kind of weird. Cause what are we fighting over here? The Blood Moon? 
Uh, yes. And the, well, the, uh, Blood, Blood Moon's on the stack, followed by V-Click, followed by Reman, followed by two no, no, dispels. Okay, 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 interesting. Those are all on the stack oh, currently. Please, please, please do it. You can fetch. You can fetch. <laughs> 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 oh my god, forward. yes. <laughs> uh, yes, Yes, Hunter. <laughs> I wouldn't have said anything. I would have just let him do it. Can we, can we see Hunter's face? Oh, I wish we could see Hunter's face when he said, "You can fetch." Just like, just like a, a vicious look of like. Huh. You oh. got too greedy there. If you would have been quiet, Victor may have done it. Oh my God, that that that. Mm. Dispels down. Well, basically. <laughs> Combat yeah, beat you for it's six. the fourth remand. I, I'm pretty sure this game is now solidly in Hunter's control. Definitely. Now there's a Blood Moon resolve, and then he only has an island and a mountain. Yeah. He has yeah. an island and infinite mountains. <laughs> Correct. Oh my god, Victor. Shadow of Doubted. Yet again. Oh god. Like, he had this solidly under control, I feel like. And Definitely. he just, he just threw it away. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> goes back to reading uh, the shadow. Why didn't you fetch with the other one in response? Is the real question. Yeah, or even like ghost quartering yourself to get the other another land. You like, had so many options yeah, there. That was about it. You know, just <laughs> two cryptics, a bolt, no big. Mm. You're just dead next turn. Shadow of doubt. Hunter's face. I feel like that was probably like the best thing. Just like, you can fetch. Just like, oh He just my has god. an evil Grinch grin. Yeah. Oh my god. See, this is where we need to slip me Jake from Victor here. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, Hunter definitely just outplayed Victor that entire match. Yeah. Not close. Even though he was like not hitting land drops when he needed to be, and Victor was, or even like Victor like Victor resolved an ancestral vision that game. Yeah, Victor was definitely ahead there for a long time in the beginning of the game, and he just threw away his advantage yeah. just like he did in game one. All right, we'll be back for round two. <laughs> Are extremely painful for you. And these stupid scions are protecting me from Juliana. Did you have it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, actual stone actual rain? Stone rain. This what are you doing? Go. This is the situation. This is fine.